Okay, we're going to cook my fish cassoulet. So hopefully you've already got your new potatoes just nicely um, boiled, cooked so they're nice and soft. And they're fine in a pan there. You've got your other pans ready and the main pan, the heat on. So all we need to do is get a good glug of oil in the pan. And then in with the shallots and the garlic. So it's a, it's, the pan will still be reasonably cool here. Hopefully you, you can't hear too much sizzling. This will just help the, to ensure that the, the garlic doesn't burn. So just give that a little stir around. It's a really, really nice easy dish, this one. That tastes fantastic. And as soon as we hear it start sizzling properly, you'll know that the, uh, the garlic and the shallots are just starting to cook. Just taking that harshness, that raw flavour out of it, and we're going to add the bacon. So just moving it around the pan, just to make sure nothing's sticking. There, it's starting to sizzle now, so I'm going to throw in the bacon. And give that a stir about. And I've got this on the full, the high heat. You just want to get a bit of colour onto the bacon. Just keep moving everything around in the pan, trying to stop everything from sticking to the bottom too much. Yeah. And I've called this my fish cassoulet because it does it, any type of white fish really is good with this. I'm using sea bass because it's got slightly more flavour and is um, able to compete with the big flavours of the, the bacon and the tomatoes. But cod will work perfectly well as well. Right. So just making sure it, as little as possible is sticking to the bottom. Go. Hopefully yours is looking something like this. There we go. Now we can add in the chopped tomatoes. So just two tins of chopped tomatoes. And give it a good stir in. There we go. And next we're going to add the paprika and the cayenne pepper. So it's just a teaspoon of paprika. Cheats way of doing this. Oh, it's not working. If you find that you've got spices like this and they stick, just put the lid back on and give it a shake. And that should work now. Hopefully you're not having as many problems as me with the paprika. But there we go, about a teaspoon of that, that's fantastic. And now it's come up to the boil, hopefully yours is like this, you can turn the heat right down now. So just on a, a lower heat, and then add a pinch of um, the cayenne pepper. So I'll show you how much I'm using, it's really just about, about that. Because all you want to do is just feel um, a little bit of heat at the back of it. It doesn't want to be too hot, so if you don't feel that you, once you taste it, if you don't feel that you can, um, you can taste the heat, just add a little bit more, just until you can get that, that heat. There we go. And then lastly, add in your cannellini beans. Right, and give that all a stir in. And I'm going to switch around the pans now to get the, uh, the pan for the, the fish up front. And I'm going to pop the, the cassoulet to the back and just pop it on a, a low heat. So all you want to do is just simmer this now. 
Yeah, nice low heat, that would be fantastic. Now, if we get the heat on for the, the smaller pan, or whatever size pan you're using for the fish, that would be great, and we're going to go and um, season the fish. Right, so hopefully you've got your fish fillets here. We just need a good pinch of salt and pepper on, on both sides. Yeah. The good thing about fish like this is it really doesn't take long to cook at all, so it won't be long before you're eating. And then season up the skin as well, because that'll make sure the skin goes really, really nice and crispy. There we go, and if you take this over to your hob, we'll, um, we'll get cooking. So all you need is a little swirl of um, oil in the pan. And if you just look at my castle here a second, that's just that's come up to the boil, so I'm just turning the heat right down now so that it'll be a gentle simmer. See that's pretty much the castle, that's pretty much as you as you want it. So just a little bit of oil in the pan for the fish. I'm just trying to make sure that there's a nice you know, if you put your hold your hand over it without burning yourself, you should be able to feel a good heat. That's what we want with the, the fish. So then just skin side down into the pan. And you can hear that straight away sizzling, that's fantastic. So we can leave that for a second and um, just go and get rid of your chopping board and what, give your hands a wash. Right, be, you don't need to do anything with the fish at this stage, just leave it, that, the skin will be crisping up nicely. And all you need to do now is just turn the heat on for the potatoes. So you don't need to do anything at this stage. Um, just turn the heat on and we're going to just try and get a little bit of colour on the skin. So once it's heated up, you add a drop of oil. So the, the, my pan's smoking now with the fish, so I'm just actually going to turn the heat off for a little, for a second, just to allow it just to cool slightly. And we're going to turn the fish over and see see how it's looking on the on the skin side. Carefully. There we go. That's what we want. Nice and uh, crispy skin. Same with the other one. Perfect. So just give my hands another little another little wipe. Right, so the potatoes, we're just going to add some, a little drop of oil into the bottom of the pan, just about a teaspoon or so, and give the potatoes a, a shake around. You should be able to hear them sizzle now. And we're just going to try and get a little bit of colour onto the skin of the potatoes. Right. See, I've had the fish off the heat all this time now. I'm just going to turn it back on just to get a bit more heat through. They'll almost be cooked now, so there's really not too much to do. So just give everything a little bit of care and attention. Nothing much is needed, so just give your castle a stir, give the potatoes a shake. And we're almost done. So I'm going to turn the fish over and have a look, look and see how it's looking on the other side. Okay, yeah. no, not quite there. Just give it another another thirty seconds. This is one of those dishes that makes me feel like a proper cook because there's three pans on the hob, even though I'm not actually doing much. Right. So the fish will be cooked now. So you can turn the heat off that and just. Pop them onto a, uh, a board just to rest. And I'll get rid of my pan. Right, how are your potatoes looking? Hopefully they're looking something like this. Just a little bit of colour on the skin. So when we break, crush them up with the fork, 
it'll just add a nice little little flavour to it. Yeah. Right. So they're pretty much ready to to um, to crush. Just need to add salt and pepper to everything now. So if you're going to get your salt and pepper and your extra virgin olive oil. Right, so into both of them, a good couple of twists of, of pepper and a good pinch of salt. And then just give the cassoulet a stir, just to stir in the salt and pepper. And again, just give the potatoes a little shake. Right, I can turn the potatoes off the heat now, and I'll show you what to do with the, just to get them crushed. All you're going to do is, with the uh, back of a fork, just using the side of the, the pan, just crush them lightly. See, just like, hopefully yours, like this. They're nicely cooked and nice and soft. Should be nice and easy. Okay. Right, just like that. So you've you've broken them up, but it's obviously not mad. And now all we need to do is add in a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. So you're probably looking about two or three tablespoons. And then just give this a, a mix together. I'll just um, moisten everything and give it that really nice um, extra virgin olive oil flavour. Right, that's ready. So the only thing that we need to do now is just to stir in the, the chopped parsley to the cassoulet. You can turn the heat off. So go and get your parsley. And we'll just stir that in and take everything over to the hot, uh, to the work surface and we'll be ready to plate up. There you go. So if you take everything over to your work surface, we'll uh, get plating up. Right, I'm using pasta bowl, if you're using a plate that's absolutely fine. So all we need to do is just get a spoonful of the potatoes. If you've got a cooking ring, this is a really good idea to, to use one. I'm not going to use one because not everybody's got them and I'm going to show you just how to do without. So a spoonful of the potato in the, in the bottom or into your cooking ring. And then just, obviously if you've got nice clean hands, you can just shape into a ring in the middle. So that's what the, uh, the fish is gonna, gonna sit on. So now just take your cassoulet, and then using a spoon, just gonna spoon the cassoulet round the outside. There we go. And then lastly, just take your fish fillet and rest it on top. And that's my fish cassoulet done. I hope you enjoy it. And as soon as we hear it start sizzling properly, you'll know that the, uh, the garlic and the shallots are just starting to cook. Just taking that harshness, that raw flavor out of it. And we're gonna add the bacon. So just moving it around the pan, just to make sure nothing's sticking. There, it's starting to sizzle now, so I'm going to throw in the bacon. And give that a stir about. And I've got this on the full, the high heat. You just want to get a bit of colour onto the bacon. 
Keep moving everything around in the pan, trying to add the paprika and the cayenne pepper. So it's just a teaspoon of paprika. Cheap's way of doing this. Oh, it's not working. If you find that you've got spices like this and they stick, just put the lid back on and give it a shake. And that should work now. Hopefully you're not having as many problems as me with the paprika. There we go, about a teaspoon of that, that's fantastic. And now it's come up to the boil, hopefully yours is like this, you can turn the heat right down now. So just on a, a low to the bottom. There we go. Hopefully yours is looking something like this. There we go. Now we can add in the chopped tomatoes. So just two tins of chopped tomatoes. And give it a good stir in. There we go. And next we're going to add... Okay, we're going to cook my fish cassoulet. So hopefully you've already got your new potatoes just nicely um, boiled, cooked, so they're nice and soft. And they're fine in a pan there. You've got your other pans ready and the main pan, the heat on. So all we need to do is get a good glug of oil in the pan and then in with the shallots and the garlic. So it's a, it's, the pan will still be reasonably cool here. Hopefully you, you can't hear too much sizzling. This will just help the, to ensure that the, the garlic doesn't burn. So just give that a little stir around. A really, really nice, easy dish. This one that tastes fantastic. Oh, everything's been sticking to the bottom too much. Yes. And I've called this my fish cassoulet because it does it, any type of white fish really is good with this. I'm using sea bass because it's got slightly more flavour and is um, able to compete with the big flavours of the, the bacon and the tomatoes. But cod will work perfectly well as well. Right. So just making sure it, as little as possible is sticking.